What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Miss Monet, aka PYT, aka Mike Monet in the cut. And y'all already know what this video finna be about because y'all seen that time. Y'all definitely read that thumbnail. I'm sorry if y'all can hear this loud sound that I hear. If y'all can, then oh my god, like I'm sorry. I'm gonna turn it off when the video starts. But I just wanna say, follow me on my Instagram, follow me on TikTok. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. Keep up with me on my Instagram because I'm real active on Instagram. When I'm not posting on YouTube, I'm definitely on Instagram. So follow me on my Instagram. Get the, you know, get the um, the followers up. So, I'm going to be doing a skunk strike. I don't want my skunk strike to be like everybody else that blonde color. Tonight. I don't want my skunk strike to be like that blonde color that everybody else got. Because I did dye my hair. I will insert some clips right there. And it was really cute. You know, it was giving. But it just matched with my skin tone a little bit too much. And I didn't really like it. So, I decided to do a blue color. And I'm going to show you guys color real quick. I decided to get this baby blue. It's really cute. I'll add a picture right here so you guys can really see the color. Um, of course, it's actually not that light like that. It's a little bit, it got a seal on it, but it's not going to be actually this light. You know, it's going to be a little bit darker. But I just got two quick blue bleach packets. And I already had developer from when I be dyeing my wigs and when I bleach my knots. So I'm going to use one of these. I got 20, 30, and 40. I think I'm going to end up using a 30 one because I think that's what everybody be using. And I don't really have that much 20. So I might end up mixing the 20 and 30. Um, I don't know. I really don't know. So y'all going to see what I do in the video. And I also got this um this treatment conditioner pack because I have conditioner. I have Mio conditioner, but I wanted to do a... Uh, like a deep conditioner pack so i got this my hair is dirty it's in a ponytail y'all know it's looking a little crusty i look a little bogus i'm not about to wash my hair what i'm about to do is take this ponytail and brush my hair through it doesn't make sense for me to wash my hair bleach it then turn around and wash my hair again so i'm not gonna do that but what i am gonna do is brush out my hair so let's just get off okay y'all so the lighting is not bad i just don't feel like turning on oh wait two lights just i like this light more or this light i think i like this light more oh yeah if y'all trying to figure out like why i'm struggling with my light and my ring light is not in my mom's house it's at my auntie's house i left it so we're on a you know we're working with everything that we got if i was to show y'all what i have my camera sitting on right now y'all be like you'll be like girl you're so good i'm, I'm gonna show y'all it's literally on this it's literally not even on a tripod or nothing it's just sitting on a shoebox Okay, y'all, so I got done kind of brushing my hair. It was hurting too bad, so I stopped. But what I'm about to do is part my skunk stripe. But I got to figure out what side I want the skunk stripe to be on. I think I'm going to put it on this side only because I have a piercing right here. And I feel like it's more aesthetically pleasing. Even though, like, the piercing is going through a lot right now. It has a uh, piercing bump when it's, and it looks kind of ugly, but. once i treat it the right way okay okay y'all so finally i gotta part my hair and as y'all can see this is the back section it's not that much hair it's literally like a little bit of hair in the back that was already dyed and it just looks really bad this is my skunk stripe right here as y'all can see my hair is so dirty please don't be in the comments like your hair i know my hair is dirty like you don't have to tell me i, I can clearly see that my hair is dirty so that's my skunk stripe right there and um you know it's not the straightest but like i said i wear wigs all the time i don't really wear my natural hair so if it comes out crooked or anything like that i won't be too like mad or nothing because like i don't wear my natural hair and i don't get braids so yeah but let's just get right into this nervous now because it's really it's really my hair on the line not saying i can't just cut it but like i could cut the back off but and get like an undercut but i can't cut the, the front off i ain't gonna have no hair i don't know if i want to do them at the same time not at the same time like go back and forth but i think i'm gonna do the back and then um no nah, i'm gonna do the front first then i'm gonna do the back because the back i only gotta do the roots and the roots um not really the roots but it's, it's not gonna whatever Y'all, let's just let's just do this.
Okay, y'all, so I'm going to put a bag on my head. I'm going to let this sit for 15 minutes, and I'm going to come back to you guys when it's time to rinse my hair. 15 minutes later. Okay, y'all, so I took it out just to see how it looks, and this is how it looks. It looks okay. I uh, actually should not be touching this with my hand. Why am I doing this? Um, Let me hurry up and go rinse this out of my hair. I'm going to come back to you guys with my rinse down hair. Okay, so this is how it looks when I washed it out. I have to wash my hair again because obviously like some bleach got on my hair. But it's like very golden -y. Um, It looks cute like this. My friend says she don't think it's light enough to put the the blue on it. But I was just looking at it inside. Like it is going to be very light. I even poured a little bit right here. But you're not going to really know how light it is to you as you put it on your hair. This is how the back of my hair looks. Um, It's all shrunken up. I should have just wet my whole hair. But I hate wet clothes on me. So, I didn't want to have to deal with it dripping, but I don't know if I should bleach it again. Honestly, I don't really want to just in case. Because I be seeing people who hair just start to like fall out, and I would literally cry myself to sleep until it grows back because, um, yeah, I need my hair. Okay, so this is how my hair looks after the second bleach, and it didn't really get no lighter. The roots are still light, and then from here to like here, it's still kind of dark. It looks good though, like I did a really good job, and my hair still feels like it feels okay. So I actually did just dry out this bowl, and I actually put the color inside the bowl. I'm not gonna use too much color because y'all know a little color goes a long way. Kind of nervous, but I think it's gonna come out really cute. I feel like it's gonna be ombre. I feel like this part is gonna be super light, and this part is gonna be darker, but that's totally fine because I don't really want my natural hair like that to begin with. Okay, so I'm all done putting the dye on the back, and this is how it looks. And y'all can clearly see how the front looks. So I'm going to let it stay for 20 minutes in a cab instead of 15. Um, I don't think leaving it on longer is going to do anything to your hair. Personally, I don't think. I left my dye on for a while one time, and it didn't do anything. You know, it still came out the same color that it always comes out. Uh, I think they just give you a time limit just because some people don't know. But... Yeah, I'm going to come back to you guys when it's time. Well, I'm going to come back to you guys when I rinse my hair out. So, yeah. Okay, y'all. So, this is how the color looks. I am what you call in freaking love. Like, it's like a teal, green, blue color. It's so freaking pretty and vibrant. I can't wait to slip my hair up. It's going to be so cute. Like, it's really, really cute. Um, This is how the back looks. You know, cute. I actually thought it was going to come out darker, like, to a point where, like, you couldn't even really see it. But, baby, you could definitely see it. I really, really like it. I really like it. But I did not condition my hair, so I'm about to condition my hair. Use my, whatever it's called, dimming brush to detangle it. And then I'm going to, um, I don't know. So, yeah. Okay, y'all. So, this is how the hair looks. It came out, like, a greenish blue type color. You know, y'all see it. I do have conditioner in my hair. I just wanted to kind of style it because it was all in my face and it looked very, like, untamed. So, I just put it in, like, this little ponto. This part is definitely, like, light, light, light blue. It came out, like, a tillish green color. I love it so much. I'm going to come back to you guys when it's, like, styled and, like, looking all cute. But for now, I just wanted to show you guys how it looked with conditioner in it. I don't know what style I'm going to do yet. But just know it's not going to look like this when, you know, I'm, I wear it outside. So, Let's get on to like the styling process. Okay, y'all, so this is the final product. It is currently like 2 o'clock in the morning, and I just now got done blow drying my hair. The only reason why I didn't style it, like I said, because it's 2 o'clock in the morning, and I'm super duper tired. In the thumbnail, I'll probably have a style, and I'll probably do a video on me um, doing that style, which is probably going to be something like something like this. Might not be this exact style, but it's going to be something like this. But... If you guys stay to the end, y'all already know what I'm about to say. You was a real one. Make sure you guys follow me on my Instagram. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Make sure you guys turn on post notifications so you guys can see every time I upload a new video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.
Okay, bye. <laughs>